What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. So there's rain in the forecast coming in a couple hours So I want to try to hurry up and knock this video out before we get hit by that But today we're experimenting with a really weird substance called oblek or oblek I'm not sure how to pronounce it But I first seen this stuff years ago on a YouTube channel called how ridiculous and ever since I've been dying to shoot it So I haven't seen too many gun channels experimenting with this pew view on Instagram a few weeks ago I saw that he had some that he was playing with that's a great Instagram follow by the way If you're not familiar with him definitely go check him out But it's two parts cornstarch one part water and it's basically a solid that turns into a liquid depending on how hard you hit it. And it's just the weirdest stuff that I've ever seen. So let me set you guys up on the tripod and I'll show you how this stuff works. So our bucket's a little more than halfway full. Hopefully it's enough. I literally bought all the cornstarch in town to do this, but this stuff's incredible because if you hit it hard, it's pretty much a solid. Like I can hit that as hard as I want and my hand doesn't go into it. But if I go in easy, it's just a liquid and your hand goes right into it. Now you have to pull it out slow because if you try to yank it out, it gets stuck. Also, if you take a big glob of it, which isn't easy to do, but if you take a big glob of this stuff, you can kind of form it into like a clay ball and then it turns back into a liquid. And if you squeeze it back into a solid and then back into a liquid, <laughs> it's the weirdest stuff that I've ever seen for sure. So this experiment is obviously intriguing to me because bullets are going fast and pack a lot of energy. And with Oblek, the harder you hit it, the harder it becomes. So I'm curious to see as we step up in caliber if this stuff actually becomes more successful at stopping bullets the higher up we go, which is typically the reverse. Usually the weaker stuff stops easier and the more powerful stuff blows right through. But with this, it kind of reacts depending on how hard you hit it, which might be the perfect bullet stopper. So like I said, I wanted to shoot this stuff because typically the smaller calibers are easier to stop and the bigger calibers are harder to stop. But since this stuff rejects fast moving objects, I'm wondering if the faster the bullet is going, the easier it is for this stuff to stop and maybe the more powerful guns will actually have a harder time getting through this stuff I don't know let's find out so we'll probably start out just shooting through the metal container with a few calibers and then I might try standing up over it and shooting directly onto the oobleck it might work better that way because the metal container won't be slowing the bullets down I don't really know I got some tape I'm gonna try to hurry up and tape off the bullet holes as we go and my biggest fear is that my table will give out under the weight and we'll lose the whole thing. I do have an extra tub if I need it, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the 22 long rifle, which is probably a waste of time, but I wanna see what it does to the 22, and then we'll step it up from there. Splashed up a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and taped up our 22 long rifle hole. I put that one a little higher than I wanted to, which is kind of what I was scared of. And on the back side here, it looks like there is a bulge right there in the metal. I'm not sure if that was already there or not, but the 22 did not come out the other side. By the way, this is like a 10 gallon tub, I think. So if it was water or something like that, most bullets would probably go straight through it. And I got metal because it's the only one I found that wouldn't explode on impact. Obviously plastic or something like that isn't gonna hold up very well. So next up, we're gonna try the nine millimeter out of the Canik TP9 SFX. See if we can put this one a little bit lower. So our nine millimeter hit right there, I went ahead and taped it up. You can see where all that oobleck is running out of there. And then on the back side, the nine millimeter did make it all the way through, which is kind of what I was hoping would happen. So now we can step it up to different calibers and test the theory if it actually performs better with the more powerful calibers or if they all are just gonna blow right through it. 45 ACP, this is not going any faster than the nine millimeter. It's actually a bigger, slower bullet, so it'll probably go straight through, but let's try the 45. And the 45 hit right there, taped it up obviously. And there is our exit hole from the 45 ACP. 44 Magnum, shooting this one out of the Taurus Ultralight 44 Magnum revolver. I went ahead and rotated the Oobleck to give us a fresh side on that metal. And there's our entrance hole from the 44 Magnum. I obviously taped it up so it doesn't run out all over the place, but you can see the dent that it left 
in that metal tub just from the impact of that giant bullet obviously it threw stuff everywhere on the back side here and then if you look at the back there's no exit hole which is exactly what i was hoping for so the 9 and the 45 both blew straight through it and the 44 magnum did not go through it that's interesting and by the way all those handgun rounds were hollow points i don't have any ball rounds for the 44 magnum so i wanted it to be kind of an even playing field and you can see that it stopped the 44 magnum no problem let's try the nine millimeter again this is a full metal jacket ball round the first one that i shot was a self-defense round but after it stopped that 44 magnum i want to try the nine millimeter one more time with a different bullet Entrance hole and exit hole, straight through. Next up, we got a 5.56, and we're shooting this one out of the Daniel Defense Mark 18. So there's our tiny little entrance hole right there in that tape. And this stuff was bubbling like crazy from that bullet impact. And if you look at the backside, first of all, there is stuff everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of blended in with the table, but it threw that oobleck all over the place. And then right there at first glance, it looked like that bullet came out the side of that thing, but it actually didn't. It just bulged it out and it did stop that 5.56. You can also see that it hit way above the top of that oblick. So it looked like that 5.56 went in low, tumbled, did whatever it did, and almost exited out the top, but it hit our metal tub on the inside instead. So if it would have went straight and stayed underneath the oobleck, it might not have even made it to that far wall, but since it exited and you know tumbled out the top or whatever it did, it did leave a bulge on the backside, but did not go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this lid on top of it because these rifles are throwing this stuff everywhere and I don't wanna cover my slow-mo camera. All right, let's go ahead and try the 762 by 39 out of the AK-47. There's no way that it's gonna stop this and it's probably gonna explode the container in the process, but let's try it. <laughs> All right, so there's our entrance hole from the 762 by 39 right there on that piece of tape. You can see where it's oozing out. It threw that stuff everywhere. Launched my lid off the top. I'm gonna have a nightmare of a mess to pick up after this. Go around to the back. Oh my God. It doesn't look like the AK came through. So that piece of tape right there is obviously from our nine millimeter. I'm just double checking. There is no exit hole on the back of this thing and it didn't come out the side it stopped that 762 by 39 that is unbelievable the 762 by 39 is a really hard bullet to stop it excels at penetrating through stuff and to see the 9 and the 45 blow straight through it i just never thought in a million years that it would stop that 762 ak that is unbelievable but it's kind of proven my theory right once we got to the 44 magnum and up nothing has been able to make it through this stuff Wow. Let's try a couple 5.56s five, right from the top. Obviously, there's not as much for it to go through this way, but I kind of want to see if it'll stop a bullet like this. The first couple, I kind of hit the side of the container, but we got the last two. So there's the first two that I shot. Obviously the angle wasn't steep enough, so those went straight through the side, but I'm gonna pick this thing up and see if there's any holes on the bottom. So you can see right there on the bottom, we got two holes straight through that thing. So probably not quite enough oobleck to stop them coming from the top like that. I need a deeper bucket. Oh, and by the way, I just spent like an hour looking for all those bullets and it wasn't happening. That stuff is impossible to look through and I couldn't find anything. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This could not have turned out cooler in my opinion. It's exactly Exactly what I was hoping for and when I started playing with this stuff I realized that the harder you hit it the more resistant it is and obviously with bullets the more powerful stuff 
I just assumed that it might do better at stopping those than it did some of the weaker stuff. And we kind of saw that play out right in front of us today. So it's pretty awesome. I think what I want to do next is freeze some of this, get like a huge tub of it, freeze it, and then come out here and see how hard that is to get through. I've heard that can be a lot of fun to play with too, and it's rock hard once you freeze this stuff. So I'm curious to try that as well. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about all this, if you were as impressed as I am, because I think this turned out probably about as cool as it could. So if you like the video, guys, please hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.